So there are things and there are ideas. Things are tangible, material. Ideas are spiritual. By definition, ideas are spiritual. What do I mean, ideas are spiritual? Imagine I have a dollar and you have a dollar. And you give me your dollar and I give you my dollar. How many dollars do I have and how many dollars, how many dollars do you have? It's not a trick question. Yeah, we both have one. We have the same as what we started with. Imagine if I have an idea and you have an idea. I tell you my idea and you tell me your idea. How many ideas do I have? How many ideas do you have? Two. How did that happen? Okay. A physical object, a thing. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about physics, but one of the things I know is that a physical object cannot be in two places at one time. That's the nature of physical things, right? And that's why, depending on the base of time, he says our bodies separate us. Now, ideas, I have an idea, you have an idea, I tell you my idea, you tell me your idea, now we both have two ideas, because ideas are spiritual. Ideas can inhabit two spaces at one time. The way that most of the world today is trained is an abandonment of abstract thinking and an absolute one track mind obsession on physicality. In fact, what's even happened is the thingification of ideas. What is the thingification of ideas? It means that even when people sound like they're discussing ideas, they're not because they have thingified the idea. What do I mean by that? Someone who's a true intellectual, who's really discussing an idea, can discuss it from two sides. A good debater could debate the opposite side. Ideas are fluid. Okay, things can only be, they're static, they can be in one place at a time. Okay, so they've thingified the ideas. What does that mean? Not that anyone should be on social media, but if you ever hung out there and you ever saw a political discussion, tell me if you ever saw a political discussion on Facebook ever end with somebody saying, wow, you really got me thinking. I never saw that issue that way before. I agree. <laughs> Did it happen once in the history of Facebook? It didn't happen yet. Because they're not discussing ideas. To discuss an idea would mean to really explore the pros and cons of it, to look at it from different sides. When an idea is thingified, what it means is words are buzzwords. They already have preset emotional reactions. Political affiliation today is basically about as developed as a choice as which sports team to root for. So once I've decided I'm loyal to this team, so you mentioned the player from the other team, I don't like that, right? So once I've decided this is my loyalty, then you mention a word, then all of a sudden uh, I have a reaction. We're not talking about ideas anymore. We've thingified the idea. The idea just, it's not an idea. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's a cue, it's a trigger. Talk about being triggered, everyone's triggered. It's a trigger to have this preset emotional reaction to this thing. It's like, like, like you walk out and you see a snake, ah, a snake. It's, like, it's just a visceral reaction.